hello everyone welcome to part 13 of laravel 8 api tutorial and uh, from this video we are going to secure our laravel apis that is required because uh, otherwise anyone can able to assess the laravel api so uh, we are going to work on laravel api authentication for the first time uh, see many more videos will come on it uh, but this is the video that we are going to work on laravel api authentication without any passport package and without user authentication okay so these two things we are going to study in future videos uh, but uh, here in this video we are going to secure laravel api in the simplest way okay so uh, let's start and i will tell you that why we want to secure our apis okay so uh, here uh, we have done the get api earlier on you have seen that we able to do this get api and uh, we able to see its output here as well in browser you can see its output is coming so uh, see uh, uh, see this is the api link and uh, this link you are going to provide to third party uh, whenever you will make some api get api the link you are going to provide to the third party but this is not the secure api like uh, if any one will come to know about this link then he can able to generate uh, the json data he can able to assess your code you, your data okay he uh, that person can able to assess your data whatever output is coming uh, is accessible to the whole world okay so this is not the secure way okay so we need to secure our apis uh, whether we are doing for android app whether, whether we are doing for apis for the third party like uh, in the first video i have explained that what why we are doing uh, some several type of apis we are going uh, uh, we can work on uh, and see every api uh, we want to make every api secure okay so uh, there is uh, many ways to uh, make the api uh, secure okay so passport package also comes with laravel that makes the api secure in a very very good way okay so uh, that thing we are going to do in our upcoming videos uh, but here i want to secure the api uh, with the simplest way quickest and the simplest way so that we can able to secure our api uh, within minutes okay so uh, that thing i'm going to tell you uh, so we can secure any api even that uh, that is get api uh, post api okay any other api we can also secure in the simplest way by just giving the authorization token i will tell you how okay so here you can see its output is coming displaying so here uh, we are having the headers also so we can give here the authorization token you can see uh, here the authorization token so we will give some token here some secure token here uh, that uh, we will give to our third party as well and the third party required to use that token uh, so that uh, uh, only then uh, that uh, api is accessible okay so i am going to make the new get api so that uh, i can write its code as well and you will uh, come to know in a better way okay so i am going to open api.php file and here you have seen we have done earlier uh, we have done this uh, uh, get api earlier on okay now again i am going to copy the same api same get api i am going to copy okay so i will do like this okay so here i am going to uh, write like uh, uh, so i am going to uh, here uh, will write secure get api okay so i am going to secure this get api and here uh, i will not do like this or uh, uh, okay so uh, i am going to do uh, this one in a simplest way uh, i will just make it users list okay and here uh, i will make it users list okay i will change its uh, route i will change the function name like this and in api controller uh, here uh, i am going to copy the same one okay so uh, that i can use it as well so i will just use the get user list here and uh, i will not pass anything here 
and I will just uh, uh, do the first one whenever the ID is empty simply I am going to fetch the results so first of all I am going to check whether the results are coming fine so uh, then after that I am going to uh, make it secure uh, so here uh, I am going to add the new one get okay and yeah this one so I am going to copy this earlier API earlier get API that we have made in previous videos and here I am going to make the user list I am going to click on send see the output is coming near there is no authorization at all now I am going to use the authorization like this and I am going to add some token first of all I will just uh, make it like one two three four five six without any strong token I'm just uh, giving it like this just to test it later on we are going to update this token value okay so here uh, I am going to see here uh, in this one uh, we are required to now use request because we are sending the headers okay so for the first time we are using the headers in our api so this part otherwise we used to do body raw or body form data okay now this time we are using the headers okay so headers are really important in apis because in headers we can pass other things as well okay so now we are passing the authorization uh, that uh, that is the way to secure the apis and its value okay so uh, this one we need to get this header here we need to check what header it is okay so what header it, uh, it is coming is there any header or not okay so uh, here uh, i'm going to check that uh, whether uh, there is any header or not okay so i'm going to do like this dollar header equal to and then dollar request then i am going to pick this header for picking this header i will just do like this and then authorization okay authorization whatever uh, in header we have given so uh, so the value of authorization will come here so if in case uh, the header is empty okay so if in case the header is empty uh, means the third party uh, uh, not give any type of header then it will uh, it will just simply give the error okay so i will show you how uh, see in else we are going to do like this and if the header is empty then we are going to return uh, uh, error message okay uh, so the message will be here message and here we are going to give message header authorization uh, is missing we are going to give message like this header authorization is missing and then uh, we are going to return the error message like we have done earlier as well return response json in json we are going to send the status as false and uh, the message we are going to send uh, this message uh, with the error code status uh, that uh, uh, status code is 422 for the error message that i have explained earlier in response codes okay so we are going to send 422 status so i'm going to check it once like uh, i'm not sending any header if I will not send any header see I have just disabled the header then we click on send and here you can see the header authorization is missing okay so this is the first error that we are getting yeah now no one can able to assess this get api and even if you are going to assess in uh, in browser it is not possible at uh, at all okay uh, one minute uh, okay so here uh, it is uh, coming here let's see uh, so here you can see that uh, it is still coming so uh, we need to change the get api to post now okay because uh, uh, otherwise uh, uh, it is not secure so uh, we need to make this change 
uh, we are going to chain with the post okay see this is the get api but now we will use the post okay uh, otherwise uh, uh, it will uh, it uh, it is not going to become secure okay so i am going to make it post here and uh, we'll then click on send okay so uh, without any authorization i'm going to click on send see authorization is missing now this coming authorization is missing and here see uh, still it is coming uh, wait for a second i think there may be some issue uh, send fine it is uh, post uh, okay this file we need to save it properly users list okay so what silly mistake i am doing okay so see now now it is fine uh, i'm going to try with get also now okay what silly mistake don't do this kind of things at your end okay so uh, now uh, i'm doing with get we are going to check with get also let's see uh, okay see head rotation now it is fine okay sorry for that still uh, we can work on get i think that get uh, uh, i can't able to authorize the get okay due to some reason but uh, oh, we can authorize get as well okay uh, so you can see uh, the get api we are using and header authorization is missing so it is giving error both in browser and both in postman okay so you can see both in postman as well as browser uh, it is giving header authorization is missing and now i'm going to use the header authorization and then we'll click on send then it is showing the results but now the other things i'm going to do see still it is not uh, working here because uh, uh, now uh, the api is secure i think that's why maybe it uh, because here now we able to assess it but in browser we are still not able to assess it okay so we need to leave the browser uh, for get APS for now because we are going to make the APS cure okay so uh, we can even change it to post like I have done earlier in post as well uh, to make it more and more secure uh, post itself we can't able to assess in browser and also authorization will surely work so now we are going to do one more thing like uh, if there is some unknown authorization uh, then still it is uh, it is uh, uh, we able to assess it but uh, authorization value must be correct okay so here uh, after checking the header uh, we are required to check the authorization uh, header itself we need to check that it is matching or not so we are going to check the header here dollar header uh, equal to if it is equal to one two three four five six only then it will work else it will show the other error okay so i am going to make it here inside this one and this return message i am going to put in else condition i hope there is uh, no confusion at all see now in earlier condition we are checking the header is there or not and if header is not there then we are going to show the message header authorization is missing with error with font 422 error that is uh, for the error status code and if uh, header is equal to if dollar header is equal to equal to okay so if our dollar header is equal to four two three four five six uh, then we are going to uh, show the output uh, as correct and 200 uh, stressful uh, uh, status code we are sending uh, otherwise we are going to uh, send other message here header authorization is incorrect okay so this is the other message that we are going to send uh, let's see here see here header authorization is incorrect because this time the header is incorrect and if we are not sending the header then it is coming header authorization is missing and if we are sending the header with the wrong value then we are uh, showing the message header authorization is incorrect so it is fine now if we are uh, sending the correct value like one two three four five six then it will show the output so like this way we can able to secure get as well as the post apis okay so now one more thing uh, we can able to get the header from there is one website uh, from where we can uh, get the header i will tell you okay so website name is uh, uh, 
jwt dot io okay so this is the website uh, where you can get the header okay you can generate the header uh, with the bearer okay so here uh, you can generate the header you can uh, use your name here like or use your company name here okay so it will generate this cure header secure authorization token it will generate okay so you can use this one like this code this encoded code you can add and here also you need to add the bearer uh, along with the headers because that is the standard way to use the header that will make the header more secure and make the authorization token more secure okay so you need to use this see now it will give the error now okay we will use this one bearer and then this authorization token then it will uh, uh, see uh, show the output okay so we need to generate the header this is the fixed uh, header uh, that uh, need to be used every time whenever uh, the third party hit this url okay so uh, to make it more secure do with the post okay we can change it to post as well and here as well uh we can now use the post but you need to tell to third party this is this is the post api okay so in post api as well uh you can able to get the users list okay like this so both get and post uh, you can able to get the result but if you will uh, not provide the header or the header information is incorrect like if i will pass uh, something in headers then it will say header authorization is incorrect so you need to pass the correct header uh, in both uh, get and post api to make it secure okay so here in browser now there is now you can't assess the api in browser post api is not possible at all even get api you can't assess it because we are using the headers now okay so you can try this one at your end and if you have any trouble you can surely contact me so that's all for now have a nice time goodbye